Hello and welcome to this little status update about the NEOS brand process. Uh, you've probably heard about that if you followed uh, our newsletters and uh, the, the website and the Slack community channels that there's some process going on. Um, and it's about the NEOS brand. And of course, you know the NEOS brand, the iconic N and the uh, blue color and it's impl implemented everywhere at the conference uh, on the website and so on but of course um, the brand is much more than just uh, some design and and colors and um, it's some time that we originally created the brand and since then the community has evolved and of course many more things happened so um, that's why an update is uh, uh, is needed or we want to have an update and enhancement of the brand and this session um, should give you some information about what's happening there in the background and what we're heading for and also how you can contribute um, in November. So I'm Robert Lemke, I'm the original founder of this NEOS project um, and together with me is uh, Sebastian Kurfürst, also one of the very first team members of the NEOS um, community. And so, Sebastian, how, how did all that start actually to, to give the NEOS brand uh, an update, an enhancement? You had the idea. Yeah, yeah. actually, um, I think it started pretty much like su such projects always start, that some people talk with each, with each other. And right now it was Maya Bornschein and, and Fabian Czech. And they talked at the NEOS conference and they were like, well, actually, we feel we would push the NEOS branding somehow forward and disconnected and resonated with them. And so uh, they put some energy into that and, and they pushed this whole process forward. And I'm very gr grateful that this has happened and this, this is still happening because we depend so much on these kind of personal, individual um, engagement in the community. Yeah. And of course, I mean, uh, updating a brand can mean everything and you can... <laughs> have probably do just a tiny bit and uh, redo the whole thing. But uh, yeah, so how, how is this actually happening at the moment and who's involved? So, um, so um, this is very much, I'm, I'm very grateful that Jung von Matt, the agency where Maya is working at, they know very much about brands and they are very experienced in how this process actually will work and, and can work. So what they have done so far and what their process is and where we helped with them and, and interact with them is that they collected lots of information about the brand, um, for instance, with the surveys in the community, which you have already hopefully participated in. And then starting from all this input, they created some different directions and, and uh, some ideas where it could go. And this is actually where we are right now. We are in this idea phase where some, uh, some paths have been explored a bit and we are um we are now seeing where to go next yeah i mean as i said in the beginning uh the brand is not just uh design of course but uh identity and values and so on and um probably if you if someone who's part of the community already knows a few of our values um and we wanted to update that um, and and see if if they still fit and that's also what the um, the surveys were about and now if you're working on the brand of course it's not feasible to invite the whole community to sit at a table and and work on that that's uh, always a pity um, probably there there are <laughs> ways of doing workshops with 300 people to create a brand but I don't know um, so yeah for for practical reasons we um we are a smaller group than the whole community of course but we try to represent um all different aspects of the community and then maya invited us to uh workshops which we had online and sebastian maybe you can tell a bit more about the workshop we did so far what happened there 
Yeah, sure. So um, we've actually been been um, uh, or they have created a huge Miro board. So if I zoom out, yeah. that's just really, really big what you see here. And and the first uh, workshop actually was just talking about the, the, the basic branding values. And basically what we did there is we uh, took the results of the branding survey and discussed them. And um, what was quite interesting to me was when we looked at the brand values, we basically um, took, we had lots of adjectives to choose from, like what does actually the brand stand for? And this is also what we tried with the community. And what we, uh, synthesizing all that together, what we came up with actually is uh, three top values, um, which are a bit different or refined than what they were in the past. So the first one is craft manship craft which is very important to us it's like the quality the things we do in neos um the the kind of um level of or, or the, the the level of detail we put into things um this is for me this part of craft which is very important to us the second factor the second value is kindness which we came up with right now um which is basically like how our whole community functions it's like that we create an inclusive space at the NEOS conference and at all other events where people feel invited to join. And this is what we really try to strive for. And the third and it's, one... It's also, yeah. it's, it's also about the product, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Uh, the, yeah. All, all the ease of use topic and, yes. and so on goes into kind. That's we want good, NEOS to be kind to, you, that's, to the that's users. A, very good point yeah and, and the third one <laughs> ambition that's probably the one which is i would say probably the most controversial to a certain extent because it actually says yeah we actually aim for changing the status quo we want to build a different content management system different than what people are used to different than what like the others are doing these kind of things so we want to strive for things which are really good solutions and and actually i think it's time right now that we can actually also we can communicate that and we should communicate that because it's so important to us and actually that's like that's what i also feel when i interact with so many people in the community it's like this special idea of making things better and and that's what what excites me as well. What what are your thoughts about these these three things? Like especially ambition, I would be interested in that. Yeah, I, I think that there's a nice tension between craft and ambition, because uh, craft could mean also that um, you you are very careful with updates and changes, and because everything should have a high quality, and ambition. Um, maybe suggest that you do lots of experiments and do things which never have been done before. And what I like about it is that you don't have to decide for the one or the other and be a boring system which never changes but has a high quality or a very innovative system uh, which is completely crazy in terms of updates. Um, but you can have both if you have these both hearts in, <laughs> um, in, in you and I think this community does um, so I, I think it's it fits um, nicely. Yeah, absolutely so this was basically our first workshop and then uh, Jung van Matt and their creative team got to work and they started with their second workshop where they or, or actually they, they thought they, they explored different avenues actually how this could be brought to life and they've explored four different avenues um, and which we have been seeing I think a week from uh, ago right that was yeah. about it and I would say maybe we can give a, a short overview about them what do you think about that yeah yeah we can do so and uh, of course you you need to know that uh, th these are not like design uh suggestions uh in in terms of uh, this is all thought through it's just give gives you an idea of which direction it could go so that this is not yeah yeah it's not the final thing in any way made yeah, design exactly. or these are not the actual photos we are used or yeah yeah like that of course so but just to give you an idea about the three ones which we which we dis discussed on most so the it always has a top area basically saying like how is how is the picture world how are the images created um, um and and then at the bottom are some some 
sketches how a homepage could look like, basically, so to give an idea about that. So these were the fir first two ideas, and the third idea is actually the one where we discussed about most and which we liked and, and, and which we felt resonated most with us for NEOS, uh, which, uh, which they called Generated Ambition. And the idea basically is that we take the NEOS brand, we extend it with more colors with warm colors um, um we have a very special font which which will all still change but that's just the, rela the, the general idea and basically we want to or the, the general idea is that we take this this picture uh, or this pixel idea of 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 digital world of digital assets basically and and push that forward and that's what we basically see up here that we want to take this pixelated metaphor and and push that forward um and you see there are lots of comments on there which we discussed in the in the in the process and and don't take that as the final design it's really just a work in progress state where basically um the team came up with some initial ideas i really love this case study block yeah exactly that's like really beautiful and 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 this is what we are right now where we are right now and this is where we would like to to continue based on that and um this is what young format is right now doing Right. So the next step will be that they are now uh, going further into this direction here, the, the kind of pixel uh, direction, and will prepare um, some, some more concrete design suggestions and so on, and we'll have uh, another workshop. And then uh, later on, I mean, we'll, we'll try to update you in, in, in the... Uh, in the meantime, and then in November, there will be a sprint in Zurich. And what are we going to do there, Sebastian? Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, the, uh, of course, you know, the, the design is all nice and it's cool that we have new designs for NEOS conference, for instance, that's all cool. But of course, the website needs to be updated and that's a big part of the whole design process, obviously, because that's the main way we communicate the product to the outside world so that means uh, we want to update the neos io website and that's of course where we need your help because you know as you've uh, we will have a pretty complete design by then but of course it needs to be implemented and i think there will be lots of detail work which which we need to do uh, to implement all that um, so it would be awesome if many people of you many developers or also other people um, we, we take all, all people who want to help out, but especially developers would be very useful because we actually want to integrate the, the, this design into the new, new US I.O. website. And the, the, the sprint in, in Zurich in November will be the kickoff for that. And we try to get as much as uh, forward with that during the three or four days where we are meeting. But of course, the effort won't be done by then. So the idea is that actually we have a final relaunched website hopefully at neos conference but of course we are needing you and uh, to help with that as well yeah so uh, i think it's november 20th until 22nd monday to wednesday i thought i think it's the official if not uh, look it up on the website uh, if we say something wrong here but uh, this is what i remember yeah you, um, you remembered it correctly i just checked <laughs> ah, not bad <laughs> Yeah, so I hope that uh, gave everyone a little glimpse on what's happening there in, in terms of the NEOS brand. Um, we we won't say something like, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. I think we don't, ah, do, we'll, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but do let us know what you think about the process, if you uh, like the approach, and I'm very excited how this yeah. will go on and thanks a lot to fabian and maya for starting this yeah and also thing. thanks to to pushing that forward from to the people yeah. uh, at jung from mud who really pushed that forward and at the same time it's very important to all everybody involved to keep the community in the loop and also keep it involved and so we really want this to be a joint effort so it would be so awesome to join us if you could join us for the november sprint to get this thing a reality and i think that's a really cool thing to get a facelift done for the neos brand which has stayed that way since quite some time actually so uh, it's i think a really cool time to have a new neos branding or an updated neos branding ready Right. Yeah. I think that's what we all have, uh, what we have for now. <laughs> and awesome. uh, 
thanks for watching. See you soon. And let us know what you think about it.